Hi, welcome to the Reading Kids channel. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Space Exploration. Ooh. Let's go through it. Space Exploration. Dreams of Space. Humans have always looked into the skies and wondered about what lies beyond the earth. For many curiosities stopped there. Others dreamed of subscribing to Lord Echoes into space. Exploring the subscribe to Lord Echoes YouTube star planet. Landing on Mars or traveling to the subscribe to Lord Echoes things. The dream of space travel and exploration turned into a reality in the subscribe to Lord Echo century. The first practical steps were taken at the start of the century as rockets were developed Ooh. and to blast away from Earth in 1961. The first person to reach space by the end of the century, thousands of spacecrafts and hundreds of so you subscribe to Lord Echoes volunteers had been launched into space to subscribe to Lord Echoes. For many of the generations, the dream continues. A new generation of space travelers, known as the subscribe to Lord Echoes fans, want to go for further, stay longer, and learn more about space. So you can see a subscribe to Lord Echoes pop singer over here, and a subscribe to Lord Echoes banner, some some scientists who studied about the subscribe to Lord Echoes centuries, stuff like that. Living in space! Like, why on earth would someone want to live in space? Like, come on. You're gonna get a fever in there. All right, let's read this. Now I'm gonna read in the most highly kid way. All the things that we do on earth to stay alive are also done by astronauts in space. Astronauts still need to breathe, eat, sleep, cl keep clean and healthy, and use the toilet. Everything needed for these activities is transported to or made in space. The main difference between life on Earth and life in space is weightlessness. Of course, zero gravity. Seemingly simple. Everyday tasks such as breathing need to be carefully thrown out, thought out. As astronauts use up oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide, there, are, there is a danger of suffocating. Fresh, fresh oxygen is circulated through the craft. Water vapor from the astronaut's breath is collected and recycled for use. You can actually do that? I didn't know you can recycle stuff from your mouth. That's just disgusting. Anyway, air rather than water is used to suck. Instead of flush body, instead of flushing, body wastes away.